political party. Mm. So it's like uh, in the old days, uh, mm. people can choose only two, you know, two ways: either uh, the military government or the representative democracy system. Okay. But then after the introduction of the populism party, then we have the the, the third option for people to choose and. Uh, in in terms of competitiveness, this is not the business competitiveness, mm -hmm. but it's political competitiveness. It's, it's better for the people. But can you also relate this to the general or macroeconomic condition of the of the, of Thailand of your country? Well, um, so if I it's it's so tough to distinguish the the effect of the populist policy uh, for one. Uh, Thailand is one of the country that was driven by the export. Mm -hmm. So the export of the the world's GDP is is one of the main contributor to the country's development. But I would like to stress not not on the GDP side but on the inclusiveness side. Okay, since uh, the introduction of the populism party back in two thousand one, I believe the number of the poor people of Thailand before was allowed like 15 million people, but for now it's only 4 million people left. Poor and, and this is the, uh, we use the definition that is twice uh, amount of the, of the SDG goals. I believe SDG goal is like $1.9 dollars per day, but we use like almost $4 dollars per day. And we only have only 4 million people. And this new government, even though it is military government, need to address the poor as well so that they can gain the popularity. Uh, promise that next year the number will be remarkably much lower than 4 million. So this is one of the examples why competition is better uh, in, in terms of politics.